When the light of human beings touches when the human human eyes touch the, the ultimate, ultimate mystery. Late autumn confers energy on mysterious winter months, not just heaven and earth. Shocking. There is also the restraint. Heavenly treasures bestowed on people. Frozen and snowy Hengjiang River in Northland. This is the Sino-Russian border. Under the thick snow, a world-class river flows quietly in Heilongjiang. This is the mouth of the Shilka River. Zurgen River and the Shilka River collide here. Gathered into Heilongjiang. 10 kilometers from the mouth of the river, there is a small fishing village Loji village, with only a few dozen residents. Farmers in the village have been fishing for generations, even in the extremely cold winter. In the early morning, fisherman Zhang Jiangong cleaned the snow in the yard as usual. Today is a good day for fishing. Mom has low back pain recently. Zhang Jiangong hopes to catch a fish with medicinal and edible replenish the mother's body. He packed his fishing gear, take his wife Wang Li to his fishing spot and set up a net. Heilong Jiang is black because of its fertile water quality. The water is meandering like a dragon, hence the name. There are more than 160 species of fish in Heilongjiang River. The temperature on the river surface at this time is around minus 40 degrees. Fishing on such a river, it's hard work that ordinary people can't understand. Zhang Jiangong and his wife came to their fishing spot to set up their nets. Every year in winter after the river freezes, fishermen will dig holes in device every few meters pass under the ice with a long wooden pole, fasten the fishing net between two ice holes. From now on, the net will be caught every few days. Zhang Jiangong and his wife chiseled out the newly formed ice in the ice hole and began to set up nets. It's too bad there's no fish. No fish in the first net. Where did the fish go? The second net only harvested white fish less than a caddy. This is a common fish in the river. The disappointment of the couple is palpable. The catch of fish in the river has decreased in the past this years. This phenomenon of empty network is not uncommon. The couple drove to the next fishing spot. Lunch can only be settled in a hurry in the car. What kind of fish is Jerome, this? This one is enough. This two pound jalu fish is a rare fish species in the river. A fish can be sold for 200 yuan. But the figure of the heavy lipped fish still did not appear. Not a good harvest today. A total of two or three hundred dollars can be sold. Early the next morning, Zhang Jiangong took out the ice pick that was worn out the day before and began but to polish it. can you catch it. the heavy-lipped fish that you are thinking about today? He is still not sure. After all, since the beginning of winter this the year, the couple only caught a small big lip fish. The couple rode motorcycles to the fishing spot again. There are only a few small fish on the net. The fish is too small. Too many grasshoppers are still neat. This is the last net of the day.
There are fish, there are fish, come on, bugs, come on. That bug, that bug. The long-awaited fish finally appeared. The scientific name of this fish is Heavy Lip Nine, named for having two layers of lips. Local fishermen affectionately call it bug. The heavy lip fish mainly lives in the Heilongjiang and Yangtze River basins. Cook the soup together with the right amount of Yukamiya dog spine. Shiriyan decoction has certain curative effect on sore waist and knees. Heavy-lipped fish stewed with tea leaves from chin. It can treat symptoms such as edema and dysuria. Zhang Jiangong called his old mother to enjoy the hard-won catch. Together, warm room. Watching my mother enjoy the harvest, that she has worked so hard Zhang to Jiangong catch. Zhang Jiangong smiled. It is the greatest happiness to give love to the family. Extremely cold North Snow Village outside the Great Wall. People follow the survival method. That has lasted for thousands of years. Nourishing and warming up with traditional food therapy. Against the harsh environment of nature. Able to live in peace with the environment. Only then can you appreciate the natural beauty of the northern scenery. Lopnor has a long-standing reputation. It is close to the Taklamakon Desert. What explorers have learned from the wilderness through these ages. This area is covered with a mysterious color. Shi Hongwei and his wife Pei Kuang 20 years ago. From Zuchang Hunan came to Yuli County. Xinjiang to seek refuge with relatives for a living. The couple tried hard. Rent a few acres of good Gobi land here to grow cotton. In the past two days, my uncle called. Do you want to make a posanum tea this year? And get some for my hometown. Can do it. Cotton has suffered a disaster this year. When the day's work is over, do some work. Yuli's cross name is Rob Noor. Named after Lop Noor. Its southern vast desert is boundless. This is a warm temperate continental desert climate. The difference between hot and cold is huge. Special the vast and boundless desert Gobi is indispensable for the growth of wild herbal medicine. The Aparsanum that Lao Shi is looking for grows on the Gobi desert. Aparsanum Aparsanum has been praised as a mortal grass by Chinese people since ancient times. Look at this piece of wild hemp growing well. Looks pretty. Husband is the function of the flower the same as that of the leaf? The same is one effect to treat three highs blood lipids. Blood sugar, blood pressure, leaves are better. Aparsinum aparsinum. Wild herbaceous perennial root plant. It mainly grows in desert saline soil or on the sandy ground of riverbank ravine hillsides. Modern medicine has identified its main role as lower blood pressure, prevent colds, calm the nerves, etc. 
It's dark, let's go home. Come back later and do some more. I can't help my family want some. They say that drinking a parsonum tea is good for preventing three highs. The next day, Lao Shi and his daughter-in-law crossed the edge of Taklamakon. In order to find pieces of Aparsinam, they have to cross a series of sand dunes. Fantastic terrain sometimes offers unique options for wild herbs. Aparsinam chose the Gobi Desert. Strong sandstorm, insufficient water source. It's like a tenacious soul. In this dry and lonely wilderness, breeding for one year and two years, multiplied year after year. There are so many flowers in this field well enough. Just came to this place 20 plus years ago, on the Gobi Desert. In the water bay there Long are a lot of person, fish catching up and dense. All of them are very beautiful. This wild hemp will be broken if you can't dig the roots. With the root, the fork will come out in the coming spring, and the pine will come out. You can pick the leaves and flowers and keep the roots, for the benefit of future generations. Bring the basket. After this year's tea is ready, tell them when you mail it to your uncle. Those with normal blood pressure should drink less. And those with high blood pressure should drink according Wild to the course of treatment. Three point poison. I told him that day. I'll tell him when I send it. It smells so good, like the fragrance from the threshing ground in my hometown in the 1980s. It smells so good. Don't fire too much. For Lao Shi, a cup of tea is two loves. Affection is caring for relatives far away. Another feeling is to be grateful for the gift of nature. The quiet Mosgorgrad River gently blows across the pasture. Like the drunken calligraphy of the hand of God. This grassland is vast and green. Here the cattle and sheep are plump and herding horses are healthy. This is Hulanbaya, the most fertile grassland in Inner Mongolia. The pasture of the herdsman Balladur is next to the Huhi wetland. Every year at this end of summer, various fungi spread all over herdsmen the grassland. Herdsmen mainly eat meat and lack vegetables. Various mushrooms produced in the grassland is one of their few sources of vitamins and amino acids. White mushroom is the most precious and delicious Luo species. White mushrooms are expensive. The price of dry goods ranges from a few hundred yuan to more than a thousand yuan per cat. It is also an income for herdsmen. Picking mushrooms is the task of housewives. His wife, Kikigma, looks for white mushrooms on the pasture every day. This mushroom grows here. The color of the mushroom ring grass is different from other places. 
herdsman Bayulan and his wife are friends of Balajir. They are also looking for white mushrooms. White mushrooms grow on a peculiar mushroom ring. Many mushrooms form mushroom rings. Scientists think mushroom circles were originally centered in circles. The mycelium of a mushroom spreads and grows. The hyphae in the central part continue to age and die. The hyphae in the outer circle continue to spread due to absorbing nutrients thus forming a mushroom the ring. Due to the strong absorption, the grass on the circle is slightly darker than Therefore, the surrounding area. It forms a circle on the grassland and is easy to recognize from the growth rate of mycelia. The 30 meter diameter mushroom circle in front of Bayulan's eyes. for at least 50 years. This is a big mushroom. This is good. This is very big, very good. Let's stop picking the small ones and let them grow. At the same time, Kikigma is also on his own ranch, looking everywhere for mushrooms. Hey, there's one. One to three. Good luck for Kikigma today. Picked several larger white mushrooms. The picked mushrooms should be washed and sliced immediately. Strung in a string. Dry in the sun for easy storage. Balaja's eldest son, Stenbola, is a Mongolian doctor, working at Tongliao Hospital. I'm going home to visit my parents today. Knowing that a calf is ill, Stenbola is ready to take a look. Stenbola works in the city all year round. The skills of the herdsmen seem to be in vain. In the end, Dad had to take the shot and put the calf down. Calf just born. Our summer is very hot. Can't stand the heat. The calf has lung fire. The principle of getting angry is like a Let's child fill it getting angry. mushroom water to reduce its fever. Herdsmen often use white mushroom water to reduce fire for children and livestock. Balajir is very happy about the return of his son. He decides to kill a sheep for a feast. Make a pot of stewed mutton with mushrooms to entertain your son and relatives and friends. Set up the stove and put the mutton into the pot to simmer slowly. The Duoma immediately filled the yard. The best mutton is roasted over an open fire to be sacrificed to the gods. The mutton is almost cooked. Put the dried mushrooms in the pot. After cooking for a while, a pot of stewed mutton with white mushrooms will be ready. Everyone sits around the table and eats a bite of hand-caught mutton served with a delicious wild chai flour sauce. Take another sip of the warm white mushroom soup. This is a rare reunion of herdsmen. Grasslands raised livestock. Livestock forks provided everything the herders needed. However, today's grasslands are quietly changing. Now I don't know if it is the cause of grassland degradation. Now mutton beef horse meat. I don't know what kind of meat it is after eating. It it's tasteless. Livestock can't eat all kinds of grass. Balazina knew that the ecology of the grassland was fragile. Need people to take care of. Only in this way can there be precious herbs and fat cattle. And sheep on the grassland. 
Only future generations can embrace this intoxicating green forever. Yujian, Alpine valleys on the eastern edge of the Qinghai Tibet Plateau, transition zone with grassland. The vast universe is so close. Every three inches of mountains. Biological resources with different life. While stretching the vitality of nature. Developed a deep relationship with humans. Dad, Langrong Ram and I went oh, to pick bitter bring vegetables an umbrella today. when you go, it might rain. Oh, you are alone at home, you go up the then stairs. Then we go. Pay attention to safety. In early stages of gathering life, people often look for food in nature and found some edible wild plants has the taste and efficacy of basic medicines. As the years progress, a variety of wild foods with the same origin of medicine gradually and discovered food. and used by people. While there are a lot, then take it slowly from here. What Wo Zhang and his wife Lang Rongram found was a kind of bitter vegetable with purple flowers. Bitter cabbage is a very common wild vegetable. Folks have eaten bitter herbs for hundreds of years. It is also commonly used as an herbal remedy. Violet bitter weaving has the season to bloom. Only then can you see purple flowers adorning the branches. Not blooming yet, the whole plant is filled with a bitter fragrance. The mountains are high and high the valleys are deep. deep valleys. The same strong light sunshine. is strong. The warmth Large temperature is more beautiful than the rain. Such an environment the rain is suitable for the flowing. growth of purple bitter cabbage. People pick bitter herbs before they bloom. The fresh and bitter taste is even more fascinating. Been grazing in this place since I was 12. Been on the ranch for 16 years. If it wasn't for the kids, reading dollar dollar sold the ranch. If it wasn't we should for the still fact be that at the, the ranch kids wanted by now. to read, Actually, this kind the of ranch life would be is pretty good. In the old days of grazing, Wuo Zhang travelled all over the mountains, so in which wilderness can we find bitter herbs? He is still clear. Pay attention to safety and climb up slowly. Here has The experience of wind and frost grows wildly. Purple flower bitter vegetable can be used by people for its edible and medicinal value. Taking food as medicine to return to basics. People in daily life. Zhu Jin understood the principle of the same origin of medicine and food. The harvest is not very big. I didn't pick a lot today. But the wild vegetables picked are quite tender. The taste of old wild vegetables is not as good. Purple flower bitter vegetable soothes the liver and gallbladder. Nourishes qi and invigorates the kidney. thrombosis and heart disease also play a role. But as food, to achieve curative effect, only harvested in season for food. From quantitative change to qualitative change over time. After Ro Zhang's daughter-in-law Langrong Ram returned Invite home. Invite my sister to help make a delicious bitter vegetable dumpling. For the family.
This is the dumpling made with bitter vegetables is a good picked yesterday. When we were in the people's commune 1970s, we often ate bitter vegetables. Now life is getting better and you can eat it too. Bitter cabbage is both food and medicine. Eating it on an empty stomach is food. Taking it on an empty stomach is medicine. After years of life experience and clinical practice accumulation, edible and medicinal herbs must become a frequent visitor on people's dining table. The Yinshan Mountains are 1,200 kilometers long across the middle of Inner Mongolia. The average altitude is between 1,500 and 2,300 meters. It is like a huge natural barrier. At the same time, it blocks the cold current going south and the humidity going north. There are completely north. different climates formed on the north and south sides of Yinshan Mountain. Ren Yufeng, a farmer in Dongpo village, Wuzhou County. The terrid climate on the north slope of Yashu Daking Mountain. She and her sisters came here three years ago to plant peonies. The climate here is suitable. Another is that the content of medicinal materials is particularly high. Sister Ren Yufeng at the foot of Daking Mountain. Thousands of acres of medicinal peonies have been planted and became Shen Gura Academy of Medical Sciences Fellow of the Institute of Medicinal Plants. Daking Mountain is located in the middle of the Yinshan Mountains. Since ancient times, it has been the intersection of agriculture and animal husbandry. The Kinshan contains endless treasures of medicinal materials. In her spare time, Ren Yufeng often goes to the mountains to collect various Chinese herbal medicines. On this day, she made an appointment with Mo Young Gong, the village head who is collecting familiar herbs with together. the distribution of medicinal His village, materials. She's mowed home. You are here. I dug gentiana in Yangliugu and couldn't find it. Let's see where on our mountain. It seems that on the mountain over there, I will take you there. The medicinal material that Ren Yufeng is looking for is it is a traditional Chinese, Chinese herbal medicine grown locally. The two took their tools and set off to the hillside not far away. Hey, wolfbane flowers grow much Gentiana more here. Kin, let's look for it. Gentiana chinensis grows less even when here there is, is a seedling. There are two more. Here is another tree. This tree is quite green. Look again. Gentiana chinensis likes shade. Kinsa grows on this hillside that lacks shade. Individuals are not big. And Yizi has been eaten by sheep a lot. Oops, there's one around here. Look at the two growing up together pretty long. It's just that Kwanzi is a little small. There is one more. As long as there is, it will last forever. This leaf did not grow. The leaves grow fine. Look at how thick this stock is. This is Kinsu for several years. This is Gentiana chinensis for many years. The common people call it nine shares into. It's as long as hemp rope. It's been years. So many strands. The root of Gentiana chinensis is used as medicine. It's getting late. A busy day has finally paid off. Ren Yufeng is not satisfied with the quantity. 
and quality of the harvested gentiana. The next day, she made an appointment with Jean Gaime, a fellow villager, to go to the mountain to dig again. This time, they will go to a higher place in the Kingshan. This, this is. Did you pull out Gentiana chinensis? This is to not see? Gentiana chinensis. Look again. In this little jungle. This Gentiana is quite hard to find, isn't it? Looking for Gentiana chinensis. There is a genus chinensis. I found a sister in law to see if this is. This it. is Gentiana chinensis. This Gentiana is quite green. Pretty thick. Here it is. Find another strand or two. In the hinterland of Daking Mountain, there are lush trees and shade under the Gentiana forest. Gentiana chinensis plants are tall and straight. The two gained a lot from going up the mountain. Shanshui. The two simply went straight up the 45 degree slope. Finally came up. Finally up. Women in the mountains end your hardships and stand hard work. As tenacious as the plants that grow tenaciously in this arid mountain. It is their silent contributions that quietly change the appearance of the countryside. Back to the residence at the foot of the Ren mountain. Renyufong placed the excavated Gentiana chinensis in a cool place to dry naturally. Mix the three medicinal materials gentiana, astragalus, and licorice in proportion. Soak in high alcohol liquor. The mountain wind, this kind of medicinal wine, has a certain effect on rheumatism. To entertain visiting friends, Ren Yufong cooks herself. She's going to make a big pot of potato stew at homegrown peony and astragalus. After a busy afternoon, a pot of delicious medicinal food is finally out of the pot. Serve peony and astragalus pork stew. Meal meal, a cup of medicinal wine. Family and friends get together to drink and drink. The cold wind blowing through the grassland. No longer feels cold here. People who know how to capture the energy of heaven and earth. From nature against harsh conditions with ancient wisdom. This is the genetic code of Materia Medica that has been passed down in the land of China for thousands of years. The Yinshan Mountains stretch 1,000 to 100 kilometers from east to west. 100 kilometers southeast of Daking Mountain. Mountains turn south. In the middle of the mountain range is a large mountain called Manhan Mountain. Li Desheng Village Doctor of Taiping Zai Village Health Center. Native Manhan Mountain People.
He is nearly 70 years old, still running around the countryside on a motorcycle every day, relieve the sickness of the villagers. When Li Desheng was young, he often went to the mountains to collect with herbs. Age. Also due to the reduction of wild plant resources. In recent years, he has seldom gone to the mountains to collect Most herbs. Most of them use Western medicine to treat the villagers. And for my chronic disease, he is still in love with natural, still Chinese, loves natural herbal medicine. Chinese herbal medicine. His brother Lee at home. What can I do? I'm not feeling well recently. A little leg pain, maybe it's rheumatism. Help me go up the mountain to find some solitary I'm life. I'm going to wash. I'll help you go to a long shatai to pick some. Thank you. Villagers of Waxishuan Taiping Zai village lived at the foot of Manhan Mountain since childhood. Familiarize yourself with the various herbs on this mountain. Accepted the entrustment of Dr. Lee. He picked up the hoe and went up the mountain. Manhan Mountain belongs to the southern branch of Daking Mountain, majestic mountain scenery. The main peak is 2,300 meters above sea level, lush forest on the mountain, rich in wild animal and plant resources. Wu Shishuan is walking along the Long Shatai Canyon of Manhan Mountain, looking for traces of solitude. Hey, is there a solitary life here? Why live alone did not see. Looking for a solitary life to no avail. Wu Shishuan has no choice but to go down the mountain. Manhan Mountain is a semi-agricultural and semi-pastoral area. Green grass by the mountain ditch. It is a good pasture for grazing cattle and sheep. It's midsummer and the meadows are in bloom. Wu Shishuan and his wife found zero purple flowers. There are a lot of growths on the pastures. This is a traditional Chinese herbal medicine ground pepper. Compendium of Materia Medica records. Pepper paste ground raw leaf shape small taste slightly pungent. Natives cook mutton deliciously. According to the pharmacopoeia, ground pepper has the function of expelling wind and relieving cough. Promoting qi. Promoting dampness and treating strangurea. Apart from grazing, Wu Shishuan and his wife picked a lot of peppers for him to use. Fine weather the next day. Wu Shishuan and his wife went to the mountains again. To this look time they set living. off towards a long shatai. Compared with the canyon, the forest here is lush. There are many shrubs in the mountains. And the chances of finding a solitary life are greater. There is a solitary life here. Oh, so many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good luck soon. The couple are on the side of the mountain. Several side solitary ditch species were of found. A long shatai. Oops, it's not easy to dig because it's on the edge of a rock. This rod can be used for making wine or medicine. Inedible leaves.
Is Dr. Lee at home? I got the medicine for you, thank you. That's good. I don't need to treat you to dinner tomorrow. Wu Shishuan handed over the picked solitary work to Li Desheng. Slicing the solitary part, put it into the wine jar, together with the rest of the whole solitary life for soaking. After a few days, the two organic substances in the medicinal it material can be used to rub the affected wine. area. In order to repay Wu Shishuan's love of collecting herbs, Dr. Li is going to use local mutter, cook a delicious meal to reward the Wu family. Dr. Li is coming. I gave you ground pepper. There is a packet of Uncle Dai's key flavor. Thank you. I learned that Dr. Li wants to stew mutton. Wu Shishuan and his wife brought the same ground pepper. The perfect match with ground pepper and mutton. Carefully pick off the dishu flour. Carefully pick Sprinkle off the dishu flour lamb. that is about to be stewed. Stir a little, and the aroma is immediately tangy. In the original meaty fragrance, the fragrance of herbs wafts out. Delicious. Pair it with a glass of solitary wine, more fearless of wind and cold. Thank you. Stewed lamb with ground pepper. Seventy kilometers north from Manhan Mountain, one ancient city ruins. Here is the famous killing the tiger. Ren Yufeng Li Desheng Wu Shishuan's ancestors. It is in the tide of walking to the west exit that I came to this mountain. Inner Mongolia is very windy and cold. Walking to the west exit will also make the Han people The method good. of soaking wine with traditional Chinese medicine is brought here. Ren Yufeng and Li Desheng, as ordinary villagers, upheld this method. The production of ancient medicinal wine is more systematic. There are 67 flavors of the secret recipe of each spread ancient among the people. Of brewing wine. So the importance of authentic medicinal materials is self-evident. Ginseng must choose Changbai Mountain Ginseng for many years. Sustan should be selected from Alxarite Banner. Strong, oily, fleshy and plump. Good medicine is good medicine. Processing adopts different processing techniques according to different medicinal materials. Cutting. Frying and steaming ensure that the efficacy of the medicine is fully exerted. Another decoction will precious medicinal materials such as ginseng sustanch Add three times the amount of water. Simmer for two hours. Let the concentrated filtrate cool for later use. 66 Ding He is taken from the Taoist Ding Lian Nai Shao. Method of combining Fill wine. the self-brewed pure grain shoku with a big iron tripod. Then add the medicine according to the ratio. Cook with fire. Stir while boiling to fully integrate the medicine and wine. Seal the filter to fill the medicinal wine. Into the pottery wine jar. Tighten with cotton wrap. Spring immersion put the wine jar into the cold spring. Soak in well water for three days and nights to reduce dryness. And detoxify. Earth cultivation buried the wine jars. After spring immersion in the ground. It takes 99 and 81 days. Take the earth chi to nourish its yin. Make the medicinal wine reach the realm of harmony of Yunnan. Yang, 
warm and thick. Mausua burns incense and prays to the god of medicine and wine. Filter the medicinal wine with straw. Take its clear liquid to get the medicinal wine city product. Heaven molds its form and nourishes its god. Ancient Chinese herbal wisdom collides with wine culture. Spread branches and leaves in the grassland outside the Great Wall and walk into the homes of ordinary people.